Vienna, it's Gareth here, it's Quick Tip Tuesday. I'm in an Airbnb. As always, I'm wanting to use my electronics. I want to recharge my camera batteries, use my laptop and keep my phone charged up. But what happens when you come and you realise you've got the wrong plugs? You're not even in the game. This is your typical British three, -pring, three uh, square pronged plug. And in Europe, they use um, one of these with, with two prongs normally. Sometimes there's a hole for the female section for the for the earthing as well. You need an adapter. So let's look at the different type of adapters you can, you can get and one or two drawbacks to be aware of. This little fellow's my Olis adapter. It's been in the family for years actually. You can see it's got the British three pin, uh, three square pin here with the earthing at the top. Uh, I've got it set at the moment to the European two pin circular standard with the, uh, the hole there for the, earth, for the earthing if you can see it. But you can, you can adjust these pins and loosen them up. They go back into the housing and then with this one you can pull out actually. Um, there are two flat, two flat pins here. You can you twist those to tighten them, pull them down and twist them to tighten them. And then you can twist again here the, the housing at the bottom and it reveals, it'll even do uh, a three pin system, if I can get that to come out, yes. <laughs> yeah, so there's a three pin system there, so you could tighten that up. Uh, is that still used anywhere? I don't know. That would tighten up too. So um, this is an extremely versatile one. I've uh, used it in the US as well, actually, quite a lot. So that's the first one. Um, I also have picked up this one more recently. This is a more modern one. It has different systems that slot on. I've only bought the European adapter here uh, for, for this trip. This one's useful because it takes um, different uh, inputs as well. Some of them have variable inputs. This old fashioned one would only take really the British. It does take the round plugs for my shaver too. Um, but this one is much more versatile. It will take flat, um, the flat connections going in as well. And uh, it's, a, I've got, it's got this non-earthed uh, European adapter. So I guess one has to be careful what appliances one's using it with. That pops in like that. It's very actually easy to forget about that and leave it in the socket when you pull out this piece if you're not careful. This is a new one I've bought for this trip. Again, it will take just about any combination and any shape in the import going in there. Uh, and it's designed very, looks very sturdy to me. It's a European one with the earthing as well here. So this guy is really good. He's got a, it's got a really stable grip. Uh, some of them are less stable. That's true of this one. This one, you also have the weight pulling down. Why is that relevant? Well, I'm going to show you now with my Canon battery recharger because my Canon actually is one I bought in the US. I bought the camera in the US and it's got the US um, plug uh, sockets here. The way I get my camera charger to work is by using uh, one of the adapters which has the um, multi uh, female section, if you like. So this American male goes in here, as it were. Uh, that's my charger. And then I can stick my battery in at the bottom and it will start charging, it should light up, yeah. The problem I found with, ah, there it is, it's flashed off now, because this is rather insecure. And you've got the added weight pulling down, you can try it the other way up, it tends to be the same problem. What I've found with some housing sockets in the wall is that you think it's charging, you come back later on really needing the battery and you find it actually has switched itself off because of the weight operating. It depends partly then on the quality of the and the sturdiness, whether you've, you've got a, an earth fit into and how good the socket itself is, how deep the socket is. This one works really great, it doesn't have that problem because it's, it's much more stable. It goes in, it, it's linking up here too. And this time, this I think is not going to be nearly as unstable. So I prefer this new adapter that I've bought for this for this contraption. Uh, so uh, that is something to be aware of. How sturdy is the appliance that you're buying?
There's nothing worse than arriving in your destination and finding that you can't fire up or recharge your electronics. So take care to make sure before you set off that you know what plug system is used where you're going. Pay attention to picking the right adapter before you go, bearing in mind the sort of problems I've flagged up, the strengths and weaknesses of different models that might be out there. That way, you avoid having to pay premium prices at the airport or when you're on the road. And you remain in electronic business. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for the vibe, throw me a thumbs up, tickle that bell, and share the affair. Right, now I'm off out again to explore some more of Vienna. See you next time.